Fishy, fishy, fishy. Let's go get some fishies. I'm excited to use this. <laughs> HT all the way. <laughs> what is that for stabbing, stabbing moose? <laughs> Well, you guys have a good evening. Nice job, you guys. Okay, gentlemen. Take care. Yeah, no kidding. Push light. Everyone to get an old fashioned? Nope. I got a beer right here. That's right, you can press. He only plays their money, so put some money on the table and maybe he'll play. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have any bills in his wallet on our hunter. <laughs> 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 I, I don't actually have any cash, I'll have to wait till Biggie comes back. Just say you do it. they were maybe going to come back and go to found the next day. So there might be tracks going off to your left. You basically follow this red line. All right. <laughs> okay. And then uh, we go through these islands. There, there also might be a trail that goes up to your left. Basically, if you see a trail to your left, go to the right. All right. Because you're going up new, up new found in here to splash. I imagine we'll catch you by then, but I don't okay. know how fast you guys ski, so. I'm only going as fast as the slowest guy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be me. <laughs> see. And then once you're on Splash.
Andy's already out there because Keith and Sean are so slow. <laughs> Sean, I think. Sean's toilet seat is sticking up out of the back of his sled. He's all ready. <laughs> What's this one's name? This one? Yeah. Newfie. Newfie. How so do you keep them? Uh, I guess they all have a good distinction, probably. Yeah, yeah. We had a litter of eight puppies a year ago, or two years, almost two years ago. And we named yeah. them after the lakes up tonight. Oh, cool. So, Newfound is his. <laughs> I think they go right in front of the sled. Okay. This is part. Is that part of the eight? No, she's a, she's a, she's not. She's old. She's six. Ooh. So the eight, they're all two-year-olds. They're a little bit. They're all black. They're a little hard. High strung. Black dogs. Where do you want this one? You, she could go right in front of the sled also. Okay. I don't know if we can see you guys, but <laughs> I feel like I'm tipping off the side. This is pretty sweet. It's because I'm fatter. 16 dogs, right? Yeah.
Wander Buddies Ski Adventure brought to you by Toco. Life is better with Toco. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. All right, so what are we, what is this portage from? Newfound to uh, Splash. Newfound to Splash. Splash is, uh, looks like a pretty small lake. So what, what time, what time do we have? We got, uh, I after me. Uh, 20 to 11. 20 to 11, so we've been going for just over three hours. Finishing up the portage from Splash to Ensign? Yeah. All right, Sean. Gorgeous. Thinking maybe we'd see him coming across the lake here, but not yet.
It's our final portage, I believe, from Portage Lake into Knife. A long day. Looking forward to getting to camp. All right, portage into Knife. Here we are. Oh my goodness, this is not good. <laughs> oh. Hang on, guys. quite a bit so the pack trail is very narrow so as the dogs go around the corner it pulls the main sled off the pack trail and it tips over so then we've got to stop and sometimes Sean can get it back on the pack trail and other times we've got to hop up off the little sled and give him a hand about a half mile to go just uh, around the bend here and on the back side of Robbins Island. The other guy should be there with the snow trekker tent set up and hopefully cold beer ready. Keith, I think. No. Keith skiing, I think. Keith skiing, yeah. Must have just went with two the whole way. I see the auger, so they grabbed the gear at least. That's good. Oh, poor pups are tired. Good dogs. What kind of spices are you using? Um, I'm using um, Meyer Steakhouse dehydrated something or another. I don't know. Are they? You didn't want to waste our good steak on you guys. <laughs> you ready there? Tomahawk. You ready there, Randy? Yes. Thank you. Major steaks. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Good. Hot toddies tonight by Zyta Wild. Mm. Second best honey I've ever had. Zyta Wild <laughs> for all your hippie needs. <laughs> <laughs> I think about putting some in my hair, you know what I mean? <laughs>
What's what up, buddy? What got going on here, buddy? I'm just kind of you know, trying to learn how to fish. Uh, nothing but the best. Um, it's Seaguar, 20 pound. Get it at your local flea farm today. When you're in the sea, get Seaguar. Excited about lake trout fishing, Sean? I've never been as stoked. Especially about the eel poot. Oh yeah, I'm ready to go pounding poot later too. <laughs> Probably we could start like right around here, but I was gonna say, how big is that ledge? We're not gonna put six poles on that ledge, well, that, right? But that ledge, I mean, that's the most sun right there. But it, it, that ledge is really nice all along those islands. Mm -hmm. And you're in 40 feet still. So just move ahead and then all set up over there, and then just work. We should just work on the edge of these islands.
bottom, I'll probably about five feet off the bottom. How big do you think he is for? I don't know. Maybe pounds? Hopefully more than 12. Hopefully big enough for us to get four guys. <laughs> What was the magic bait today, Cody? Uh, it's a ripping, it's a ripping rad. Nice. See at the lip. Guys, lip them. Nice. <laughs> Woo! HD, baby. <laughs> <laughs>
What a nice lake. No lake trout shall pass the border. It's our second morning here. Nice. Got some snow coming down. Gonna catch some lake trout for fish fry. Eh? What happened, Cody? Just sitting there drinking the old Wonder Bread, and uh, this slab came in. Put the old booger hook on the bank button. Just a little HD action. <laughs> Brought to you by GoPro. With the road mic. Were you? Yeah, you got it. Okay, we were recording. <laughs>
right, the Forest Service boys are ready to take off. The dogs decided to make a right hand turn instead of a left. <laughs> take care, guys. site on Robbins Island on the Easterly Point. Justin! Yeah. Oh man, it feels like it's like two degrees. Yeah, it's cold. It's chilly, boy. Another crankbait, huh? Boys, I'm not vaccinated. I gotta go back. <laughs>
Lake. Standing right on the US Canada border. Hey Chris. Hey! What you doing today? Well we couldn't catch any fish, so we thought we'd maybe just start digging in the snow and see if the wolves buried any out here. Huh. Looks like the spot that I would have picked to bury some. Yeah, well I know from experience with Sean, a lot of times if you see a little track in the snow, you're not sure what it is, dig underneath. He showed me the elusive Miller light track one day. I'm hoping today we find the elusive trout track. If we're lucky, if we're real lucky, we might even find a northern. Whoa, whoa, I think we've got the spot. Hey, look at that. There we go. There's no way there's another one in there, is there? Thing it's a warm day or my hands might be real cold <laughs> it's a good thing it's not 10 degrees with 30 mile an hour winds huh i'm so glad it's warm out today and i've got these great mittens from mountain hardware keep never, my hands warm never even leave after home with digging them. in slush <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 where do we have? No way. Oh my goodness. No it's still, way. It's still alive. Look at that. Quite the fisherman you are. Well, when you can't catch fish the traditional way, <laughs> you gotta be willing to adapt. <laughs> All right, it's the final night on Knife Lake. We just got done taking a little hike to the Canadian border. Heading up for a shore lunch on campsite on the end of Robbins Island. I've hauled up some stuff here and made a path. Start a fire and fry some fish over the campfire. We got some tip ups, we're gonna put some lights on. Right off the end of the island. John, what do we have here? It's Black Fox Cabernet. Comes in a black box. <laughs> yeah. Are we, we're doing this one in the open? That one I think we're gonna do in okay. open, yep. Oh, 
Look at it, I got it right on the tree. Four eggs should be enough. Dogs. Hmm? Oh my god. Oh, I don't need that card. Free claw. Like? Oh. oh. A lot of meat and cheese? Just a little cheese. Just a little cheese. Half the cheese? Yeah. No, no meat. No meat. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, that looks good, Cody. Cody? Wow. Are you single? <laughs> Why do you want me? You, have a lot of you want to set me up with your sister? Again? <laughs> or are you just asking for yourself? No, myself, Here, maybe. Dude. Here we are. The border of Canada. United States eating nothing but the best. Meyer. Meyer. Kosher hot pickles. Shop with happiness. Listen to that crunch. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, here, someone grab this plate. So good. Huh. Keith got some popcorn. Jeffy Pop. When you're looking for some corn on a cold winter's night, look no further than Jiffy Pop. And kick Sean off. When I do that, right. you might as well do the same thing. Then we'll get through the tricky part of the portage, the other person can hop back on. Okay. Um, but this way, when you really need to be maneuvering, you're not pushing each other. Okay. And so <clears throat> you're basically just hanging on, pedaling along. Um, they'll just follow me. So then they stop. Volt, get up here. Come on. Come on, guys. Stopping them if we need 
So to stop them, you tell them, whoa, and just step on this with all your weight. Um, usually there's another brake you use, but I don't put it on here for when I tow it in because you don't need it and it just snags on things. But if you step on this with all your weight, I mean, it's not a light sled, they'll stop. Um, and then to go, you say, all right. You might have to give them a little push to get them to go. Um, but that's basically, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna pass you, and then um, you can go behind us. Yep. We're we'll stay behind you. And you just stay behind right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what if we wanted to pass you? Would <laughs> be absolutely proud to pass. Do we? Yeah. If we're gonna pass you, do we pass in the left then, or? <laughs> <laughs> Doing great. Hi, Moose. Look, look at these mushers. These poor dogs got some bad asses. What happened, Sean? <laughs> that was a bad, bad takeoff. Hey, buddy.
There's Sean from Holland Dogs heading back out on the Moose Lake to go pick up the second half of our group who is skiing their way in. So they should be making it a couple miles. It took us about three hours to get um, off of out of the boundary waters from Knife Lake back to Moose Lake here. He's got 22 dogs. How many people can say they speed up with an i-22 That's That's a fact. One or two, man. You want to pull that sleeve in so it's not just Oh, sorry, man. Twenty-two dog skidjuring. <laughs> <laughs>